I'm surprised that the expression shoot for the moon still exists after we've walked on the moon. It used to mean some impossibly hard task that would stretch the limits of your ability to achieve. Shoot for the moon. Well, we've been to the moon. We've been to the moon nine times. So Apollo 8, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. So, uh, okay, but if you still want to use shoot for the moon, I think it still feels good to say it. That let us try to achieve beyond what is normal, beyond the expectations of others. Exceed people's expectations. That's all. I think that's a good, that's good advice no matter what. Exceed people's expectations. To shoot for the moon is a nice poetic, cosmic way to say the same thing. I'd say shoot for the star, which lie far beyond the moon on the night sky. I wouldn't say shoot for the sun, even though the star is our sun, because we all know we would just vaporize if you got too close to it. So no one says shoot for the sun. But shoot for the stars is a general sort of direction rather than a destination. And that works for me too.